Hello and welcome. It is Saturday, October the 21st. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the New Testament book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 11 through 16. Here's the word of the Lord. It was he who gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, and some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men and their deceitful scheming. Instead, Speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is, Christ. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. And that is the word of the Lord. Our article today is Uniquely You by Kara Shoneman. Here's what Kara says. Have you ever wanted to be someone else? Or perhaps you have wanted the characteristics of someone else. What if God made you uniquely as you are for his glory? Sin does have a way of distorting how God created you, and so there are dark areas of our hearts that are constantly in need of light. God has equipped every person in such a unique way. When people truly trust God completely and are comfortable in their own skin, then God's amazing grace is evident, not for the praise or glory of the person, but rather for the glory of God. My husband and I have different gifting from God, and I am so thankful. We are better when we work together in the way that God has uniquely equipped us. This is the same for the church, the body of Christ. Everyone has a unique gifting from God to help the body of Christ be built up in unity and to glorify God. This is achieved by speaking the truth in love. As a direct result, we will grow to become the mature body of Him, Christ. Blessed be the tie that binds, by John Fawcett is our hymn for today. Blessed be the ties that bind our hearts in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds is like that above. And then from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verse 35. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. And this is your daily devotion. Oh, and please pray that many people in St. Kitts and Nevis will come to know Christ and receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Now, this is your daily devotion for Saturday, October the 21st. Have a blessed day.